Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, you really loved the vegan response videos. In my last post, I asked you to recommend future videos. The majority chose Hench Herbivore Paul. So today, we're going to respond to his latest video. Hi, it's Paul from Hench Herbivore and this is how I eat and train to get ripped What was that? <laughs> Ah, terrible man. music. We've got a fun-filled day lined up, so I better get some fuel in. Let me introduce you to my breakfast. So I'm going to have a blueberry smoothie. So obviously, I've got a load of bloobs. That'll give me plenty of fast energy. Yeah, fast energy, of course, because of the sugar content and antioxidants. I've got these dates again for more energy. Yeah, more energy again. Sugar in the dates. This oats more slow burning, so it'll keep me going for a while. I've got chia seeds, good for omega-3, flax seeds, omega-3, anti-cancer lignans. I've got armola, which is the most antioxidant-rich food in the world. Probably more antioxidants there. Okay, before I jump into this video, a little disclaimer here. I know that people like Sverige contacted Hench Herbivore quite often and did response videos. So therefore, Hench, Paul. The reason why I make this video is not to attack you. I think we have to establish human ground here first. It is easy to get trapped into that vegan YouTube bubble and throw shit at each other, hate on each other. Listen, I was a vegan bodybuilder myself. In reality, there is no such thing, of course, because as vegans, you have to consume much more calories. With much more calories, you're consuming much more plants that lead to many more crop deaths right so therefore you are contributing to more animal cruelty hence not vegan if anything plant-based that being said the reason why i reach out to you firstly is because the fans want to see it but secondly looking into this it is because i feel your pain i totally understand how it feels to eat all of those plant foods they're all very triggering very toxic on the digestion of course right now you're eating a bowl full of anti-nutrients you're eating phytates you're eating lectins you're eating phytoestrogens and whatnot all of that is not proper food for the human species hence why i'm reaching out to you is because i want to offer you a alternative an alternative that will tick all the vegan boxes as a vegan you want to be ethical what does that mean it means to reduce animal suffering the most animal suffering is, of course, produced through plant production. That means if you would eat carnivore, round about two to three, let it be four cows for a man of your size, you would be the most ethical. That is out of the question. You cannot even debate that. You would be the most ethical on all levels. Environmentally speaking, grass-fed beef is absolutely perfect. Ethically, again, you're killing less animals and thirdly of course you would improve your health and with that it would lead to less human suffering all the boxes are ticked and then the rest of my smoothie put together dulse <clears throat> pepper seaweed good for iodine and i've got some almonds make sure i've got plenty of vitamin e going on what the fuck was that and i nearly forgot my beloved vivo life protein i've got the madagascan vanilla today this one is particularly sweet yeah i know you're sponsored by vivo life and therefore you want to make a buck totally understandable i get it we all need to make money but the point of the story is that you couldn't absorb any protein out of your so-called whole food plant-based diet that is just common sense we all know that the protein is encapsulated in those plant fibers and hence it is really really hard to break down this is why many vegans resort to smoothies and juices to get some nutrition out of it therefore in order to provide some protein to your muscles you will need protein powders i hear the vegans screaming already yeah but regular bodybuilders drink protein shakes as well yes that is correct but that being said they do not rely on protein powders for their protein it is a supplement an additive as a vegan bodybuilder however you will rely on protein powders and processed plants to get some nutrition with that you contribute to more environmental destruction and to less healthful eating habits because you are eating supplements instead of real food this one is particularly sweet yeah of course you want it to be extra sweet because you're hooked on the sugar it is absolutely impossible to break the sugar addiction as a vegan 
Of course, because your diet by default is based on sugars. The vanilla tastes, because it's actual vanilla, it's delicious. Um, so I put this one in smoothies where I want it to be um, sort of extra sweet, really. So uh, link in the description. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> <sighs> and here comes the blender right as i said people cannot digest those foods i know as a vegan you think that everything that is natural is either bad or simply unnecessary just because it is natural doesn't mean it is good it is an appeal to nature fallacy yes i understand all of that however a natural diet means to eat something that is adequate for your physiology. What you are eating, you're actually not even eating because you put it into a blender. You cannot digest any of it. You need to supplement with protein powders and then you need to grind up that fiber to reduce the digestive stress. This is not human food. This must be the lamest Kelly muscle impression that I've ever seen. Yes, that was quite delightful. I'm going to get that damn my chops. I'm going to get online and do some workout and nutrition plans for some of you lovely guys. I've had loads and loads. They've been really inundated, which is really nice. Um, get at me down there if you want to get in on that. Why would you give out nutrition plans if you have digestive upset yourself? I tried to contact you and you wouldn't respond, right? Once I made the shift to carnivore, you couldn't respond to me any longer because I'm an apostate to your religion. However, I know that you are in contact with Goji Man and you still try to fix your digestive upset. How come that you feel entitled to give out nutritional advice if you still battle digestive issues? But um, I'll see you guys next at the gym. Oh. What did I just watch? All right, aside from the underwhelming training footage there, why do you lie to your viewers? Why do you try to tell them that if they eat plants, they would have the same results as you? You admittedly are a steroid user. And listen, I'm not going to even attack you because of that. I have friends that use steroids. I've been in the field of bodybuilding, martial arts, personal training, all of it. I get it. Steroids are a thing. It's all right. Use steroids your thing your business it's your body do with it whatever you want to do however the issue becomes when you tell people that they can achieve the same goals as you with a plant-based diet listen we all know that steroids increase protein synthesis what that means is they help assimilate more protein into your muscles right you become more anabolic your body makes better use of dietary proteins so now if we take plant proteins we already see that the biological value is very very low why is that so because again it is not human food meat has a very high biological value because it is adequate for our physiology once you introduce synthetic protein powders and you introduce plant proteins they are not easy to digest and they are not easy to assimilate by the body however if you use exogenous hormones your body becomes more efficient at making something out of that crappy protein and therefore you can have some muscle of course you know just as well as i do that you are not living up to your own potential of course you're under eating and you're under feeding and you're malnourishing your body with your current diet however the steroids make you stick to that diet longer and not wither away straight away but it is of course very disingenuous to tell your young followers that they can achieve the same results just by eating vegetables well that's just made me darn hungry i'm gonna try out a new place today it's called salt it's only been open a couple of days uh, i saw a great write-up in the paper apparently a real good chef uh, and a lot of the dishes it's not a vegan uh, restaurant but a lot of the dishes are vegan so excited to give it a try
Okay. Okay. I love the decor, fancy black cutlery. When the feeds come, it looks like shit. I can, I can smell the horseradish, it smells delicious. Thanks very much. Service is spawn. <laughs> Pasteurized coconut water, simple sugar water. You're not getting anything else out of it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, brother. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you. So for the smoky aubergine. Um, what was this? Horseradish. Horseradish and dill potatoes. Horseradish and dill potatoes and satay tofu. Uh, phytates, phytoestrogens, and lactins, and aflatoxins in the peanuts. It is a dish filled with anti-nutrients. And I know that the vegans somehow want to discard that altogether. Somehow that doesn't comply with their science, right? The blue zones eat all beans. Yeah, but not in those amounts. And why would you contribute good health to those beans? It is absolutely ridiculous. If you look into the Okinawans, you see that those people eat copious amounts of pork. If you look into the Sardinians, you will see that they eat fish. The vegans will twist that information and tell you that it is because of the beans. That is of course ridiculous. That dish does not build muscle, especially not if you are natural. Stop lying to your people, Paul. It's ridiculous. You are very disingenuous if you tell your followers that tofu builds muscle. The only reason why you can build some or maintain some muscle through tofu is through steroids. That's all. That was nice. Coarse radish and dill potatoes. You like a bit of horse radish, don't you? Yeah, it's really nice with the potatoes as well. Like a new take on the potato salad with that extra kick of the horseradish. Delicious. Yeah, I really do love horseradish. The food is boring and you do not enjoy it. Anybody can see that. Stop lying to yourself. Yeah. Smoky aubergine. It's got the coconut bacon. Tastes brilliant. This is one of the nicest things I've eaten in a while and I and I do eat out a lot these days. Yeah, the coconut bacon because it reminds you somewhat of meat. That's why you enjoy it a little bit. It tries to replicate your natural food source. It's simple as that. You do not enjoy that smoked aubergine. You do not enjoy the potatoes. Nobody likes that shit. As a vegan, you tell yourself that it is so incredibly delicious. It is a lie. Well, not a lot. Weekly. Mm. Is that fair to say? Yeah. Marks, love it. Well, I loved absolutely everything about that experience. <laughs> nah, you didn't like anything about that experience. Stop lying. The staff are amazing, really lovely, friendly, warm, humorous, beautiful decor. The food was amazing, really different, really full of flavor. 10 out of 10, I'll be back. Would recommend to a friend. So I'm on the set of London Real, ready to do my interview with Brian Rose. Nah, just kidding, we're in a furniture shop. <laughs> I fooled ya. No. <laughs> <laughs> he came in for a wee. <laughs> I came in for a wee, if I'm honest. Can I have, please? Yeah, yeah. Ah, always the same shit. I'm honestly not in a cheerful mood today, where we'll make fun and blame Paul of his nutritional decisions. This is re reset. This is really, really sad. It happens every single time. Don't you see that? You eat something that's not adequate. It raises your insulin. Now you get a hunger attack. Now you go to the next store and grab some junk food to fix that craving, to stabilize the blood sugar. If you would have eaten a steak, you wouldn't have that issue. It's that simple and you know it. If your post-workout meal would have been rice with chicken, rice with steak, 
rice with fish. Okay, if you must, add a little bit of broccoli to it. Okay, you wouldn't run to the store to get a sugar fix. Jesus. Cinnamon peach muffins, gluten free, and cashew butter filled dates with chocolate and coconut. Some more sugar and fat. Again. And can I have one of those as well, please? Yeah, sure. Do you want the same? Yeah, is that you yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And was it one of these? Um, three, please. Three. I'm having a ring for you. I've been dieting for ages. But I noticed this week my weight was going down too quick. So I'm having a little ring for you. So my muscles don't shrink to nothing. The muscles don't shrink to nothing. You know exactly that that has nothing to do with muscles. Yes, I understand. A carb refeed. We've all done it. I get it. As a bodybuilder, you want to raise the metabolism. You want to fuel up with some carbs. I get it. All good. The issue here is, of course, that you do not add any building blocks. Yes, I've seen bodybuilders filling up with cereals, with sugary shit. I get it. Bodybuilding is on its own not the healthiest thing to do. We all know it. However, again, you do not have any quality proteins and you do not have any food that will stabilize your blood sugar. This is why you run to get your next fix. <laughs> I mean, three is the magic number. Exactly. Now we're fine for you. I love this place. Just gonna smash them down, yeah. <laughs> Thank, you, Thank, you. Thank you. Yeah. Just for the record, these are not all for me. One of these is for Gemma. <laughs> Cinnamony, peachy. Um, What's the names? What's the names? Muffins. <laughs> The word sumptuous springs to mind. <laughs> really soft and like gooey inside somehow. Yeah, the aren't cinnamon they? and the peach work really well together. Yeah, they are a bit gooey, aren't they? Mm. That's amazing. A little try of this uh, date thing. Is it? Uh, but what is the point of this video? I mean, even if you want to claim that you are a nutritionist with some sort of online degree, what is the reason to make such a video? Who will learn anything of this video? There is a middle-aged man sitting there eating chocolate balls and some sort of donuts. For what? What is the reason for this video? I truly don't understand. Cashew butter inside. Yeah. Cashew butter filled Dave. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, so it's a stuffed date basically. So I'm really excited, we're off to Hillside Animal Sanctuary today to hang out with a load of lovely animals. They have a good range of different rescued farmed animals and there's like ostriches and all sorts. It's really cool down there. The gyno on this man. Honestly, first and foremost, super fake again, right? A lot of gestures. Ah, ooh, hello guys. For what, right? Secondly, why do you stand there with a shirt off? And why do you show your steroid-induced gynecomastia? So I'm doing some foods to take with me. I'm doing a bean and quinoa salad today. So I'm cooking the quinoa. It's nearly done. The water's pretty much evaporated. I typically add in turmeric and a little bit of black pepper to all my grains. <sighs> it's so funny. Vegans always will tell you that we need to spice up our meats in order for it to taste good. Which is of course complete bullshit. You can eat raw meat and it's absolutely delicious. And again, this is not some crazy shit that you hear on Bobby's perspective or only in the carnivore camp. Sushi, raw fish, is one of the most popular dishes on this planet. Right? That is a fact. You do not need any spices for it. However, you will always need spices for vegan food. It tastes like shit and you know it. That's some lovely color tea meals and of course you're increasing the nutritional density, which is always a good thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> How? How do you add to the nutritional density? With what? With spices? What is in those spices for you to receive more nutritional density? How are you a nutritionist? What is in there? What minerals? What vitamins? What is in those spices for you to enhance nutritional value? So, um, chop up some veggies, I guess.
That shit doesn't give you anything but bloating. Okay, so I have my quinoa in the fridge. That's cooled down now. So that goes into the salad. I'm squeaking. <laughs> and this is how far the vegan brainwashing goes. I know what I'm talking about because I've been there myself. Somehow you find yourself in the kitchen yet again chopping up vegetables and thinking that this is what you should eat in order to be healthy. However, your gut says otherwise, right? You have digestive issues, man. Why would you eat a humongous bowl of raw vegetables? Hmm? You heard me. <laughs> Bar beans. Gonna add some mint, which is the most antioxidant rich of the herbs. Some coarse black pepper, a little bit of sea salt, little apple cider vinegar. Into the lunchbox. What the fuck is this, man? Uh, none of this looks like food. None of this looks like adequate nutrition. None of this is something that you truly enjoy. None of this is something that you want to eat. It is because you've been indoctrinated. You are in that vegan mind state and you tell yourself that this is something that on paper looks nutritious. However, your instinct is fighting those foods. You will get bloated, you will fart a lot and probably will have diarrhea of those foods. It is not meant for consumption. Every plant tries to protect itself through anti-nutrients. It's that simple. It's that easy. What don't you understand? Jesus! Little lunchbox, is that by a slice of green? Oh. Very good. Get rid of those old plastics. Boom. One lunch. That fake smile. Ugh, cringe. I'm on my velocipede. I'll see you at the sanctuary. Bye. Oh, you remember when all this was fields? It still is. That way. Hello. Hello there. Donations, yeah, lovely. Oh, you get them. Thank you ever so much. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah, great. And what is the difference now between this sanctuary and some grass-fed cows? Ever thought about that? What is the difference? Nothing. In the worst case scenario, those cows, those animals, they will live up to an older age and then they will face old age diseases. Once that comes, what do we have to do? We have to put them down. Wow, big surprise. With the crucial downside of them not returning into the food cycle. We're removing them from the food cycle. What benefit? does anybody have of that? In regenerative agriculture, you have a sustainable cycle, right? You have the cows roaming free, pooping and regenerating our top soil. And then we eat them in turn and get proper nutrition. It is a win-win situation for everybody. Stop spreading misinformation and vegan propaganda. Already debunked Earthling Ed, he doesn't report the animal abuse on those farms to the RSPCA. And this is something that many, many so-called animal activists have done in the past. I'm going to link an article in the description box where you can see for yourself that there is truly a thing that is called animal snuff films. They are animal activists and they film or torture animals themselves in order to propagate veganism. This is a real thing and it's absolutely shocking. If you would eat sustainably grass-fed cows, as I said already, you would be the most ethical and you would have contributed to our environment instead of throwing money at some cows that will be put down anyways later in life. Thank you ever so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Jesus you. Christ. Wow, and somebody shore those animals, right? Hey, where's the wool? Hmm, what do we do with that wool? But wool is so cruel, right? Vegan logic. Mm. 
Yeah, and again, you do not have to go to a sanctuary in order to pet an animal. You can do that on a farm. Look how compassionate I am. Look how ethical I am. Oh, I'm stroking a horse's back. Vegan warrior. Yeah. Yeah, basically a glorified petting zoo. Fantastic. You girls want to be in my vlog today? Do you want to wave to everyone at home? Say hello. <laughs> and say, uh, be vegan. Can you say it? Oh, you don't have to say it. Yes, we are nodding and smiling. Can you say, be vegan? <laughs> yeah. At least one girl knows what's up and won't propagate those lies. Maybe, maybe the intuition is still intact and that little girl knows that veganism is total shit, total destruction, total hate towards humans. And again, man, it's absolutely saddening that you spread that misinformation. We all know that we as humans need adequate nutrition. It's simple, right? Everybody would agree upon that. And especially as kids, as growing infants, you went vegan when you were an adult. That's it. You went vegan on steroids. Dude, how do you recommend that diet to growing infants? They cannot assimilate shit from those plant foods. Shame on you. Yep. Can I come in the middle? You go one side. Ready? And this, this is Mr. Swan. How's that? <laughs> Lovely. Thank you, ladies. Grace, what do you do? Um. Show me. Do the thing. Yeah, nice. My youngest subscriber. <laughs> Decided to put a little apple in uh, at the end. Yeah, to put in more sugar again. Meal. I like a little sweet pop in my salad nowadays. You like a little sweet pop into everything, man. This is why your teeth are so degenerated. They are totally blacked out. Plastic phobia. That's how we roll. Just leave them in the bag so wherever you are you've got something to eat with. And you don't have to take plastic eat things from a takeaway or whatever. What I really love about this place, other than the fact that they're rescuing hundreds of animals from death. No, they're not rescuing the animals from death. Sure, immediate death, of course. But again, there is a circle of life. You, Paul, me, Everybody, we are all nothingness in this universe. We all will die sooner or later. And then on top of that, there is a food chain. It's simple as that. Nature is a really beautiful ecosystem. As long as you follow the rules of nature and you don't go too far off it, even though in our modern societies we always will to an extent, you will feel overall pretty good because you align yourself with that ecosystem. You find part in it instead of out of it. Instead of finding comfort in a man-made ideology, you actually find comfort in a true ecosystem. If you embed yourself, you go hunting, you butcher yourself, you go fishing, you experience this natural life for what it is. Instead, you're going absolutely against it. You're swimming against the wave, so to speak. And now you're sitting there eating a bunch of fruits, vegetables, all of it will lead to digestive upset you will counter it with more steroids again in order to justify your food choices what you are doing is destructive to yourself but hey that is your free choice the real issue is that you are spreading this information to our children especially now with those two gullible little girls shame on you is that all the food all the gifts like everything's completely vegan here so anyway this place is great hillside animal sanctuary get down here it's open every other Sunday for a few weeks over the summer. I'll put a little link in the description so you can check it out if you want to, if you're in the Norfolk area. Well, I'm back from the sanctuary. That was a good old ride. I'm cream cracked now and I'm really hungry. Gemma, I need some food in me. Stats. Yeah, big surprise, always hungry. Vegans are always hungry because they are fueling their bodies with calories, with macronutrients, even though one of those macronutrients being protein is totally insufficient. However, they get enough carbohydrates and a little bit of oils but they're not getting any micronutrients it's that simple man let me give you a simple example 
If you take a car, a car needs fuel, gas and oil. Imagine you're always putting in gas, but you will always have that signal light telling you it needs oil. That signal light in vegans is the constant hunger. It doesn't matter how stuffed you are. It doesn't matter that you already extended your gut with all of that fiber. You will still feel hungry. Why is that so? Because the micronutrients are missing. That's good. Okay. Well, hi, what's going on here? What are we having, woman? Scrambled tofu. Scrambled tofu. Oh, yeah. Mmm, my favorite. Introduce me to the fellas. Tofu. Tofu. Onion. 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 Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Necco in here. Great. Tomatoes, goitrogens, the onions kill off all the microbes, and what else? Tofu. Again, phytoestrogens with mediocre protein bioavailability. Absolute shit. Black pepper, <laughs> turmeric, garlic, nooch, tamari. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> A fuck ton of spices again because it tastes like shit. That blade is severe, as you know. Yeah. It's got my sweet potatoes. Oh God. I need to do this fast for the sake of my energy. And obviously the speech is slurred and he takes big breaks between his words even though he is an English native speaker. Me? Yeah, I get a lot of shit because of my accent. How very kind of you guys. English is my third language. <laughs> energy fading. Quick, quick and fast. Careful. Oh, that knife is so dangerous, isn't it? I hate it. I know I'm jokingly trying to hurry you, but do be careful with that thing. <laughs> Get him in the microwave, stat! Go, go, go! This is just on here to remind me we're nearly out. Great. Just letting you know, guys, none of this food is muscle building. And not healthy, of course. If you take potatoes into the microwave, this must be the worst way of preparing potatoes. Needless to say, right? So, you will use the potatoes for glycogen, right? For your muscle stores. Okay, makes sense. Nothing wrong with it. He will use the tofu as a protein source. As I said, already mediocre. Works only on steroid users to an extent. Of course, that is not the best way of getting protein in. However, because of the heightened protein synthesis through exogenous testosterone, he will make some gains. It's that simple. All the rest that you see in that meal is totally useless and has nothing to do with muscle building. The only reason why he uses it is because everything tastes like shit anyways and he tries to make a concoction and make it a little bit more pleasurable. Essentially stimulating his taste buds in order to feel something because you won't feel nutrition out of that food. If you bite into raw salmon, dude, you don't need any spices. You don't even need salt. That shit is delicious. Go, go, go. This is just on here to remind me we're nearly out. Hopefully we won't need it for a few days. It's meant to be well sunny. What's up with all of those faces, man? What are you doing? That is mental illness at its finest. And of course you need vitamin D3. Of course, because you do not eat any organs. There is no bioavailable vitamin D3 in any plant foods. How in the hell did people get vitamin D3 back in the day? Right in the north, there was no vitamin D3 supplement. And that vitamin D3 supplement is of course not a real equivalent. That vitamin D3 supplement is synthetic and of course not based upon cholesterol, which actual D3 is. It is a hormone, man. It is absolute dog shit. It doesn't do anything. If you see a difference, you will see slight rising vitamin D3 levels in your blood after taking it. But this is just your body excreting it again. None of that gets absorbed into the cell. It's bullshit. It's useless. Now what's happening? I've got to press the tofu. Press the tofu. Get the tofu pressed. Fast. Come on. Don't I can feel. I'm getting. Finish all the mess in here. I'm going, I'm going um, catabolic. Come on. I need to stay anabolic. You will stay anabolic, don't worry about that. As long as you inject testosterone, you will stay anabolic. That's all right. Oh God. I need to drain it. Drain it. We've got this handy tofu press. You went the wrong way, now you have to go inwards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh dear. I've broken it. Absolute starvation hysteria. That's all I see here. Just two people obsessing over food because they are starving. You just can't get to starve. Oh. <laughs> Let me do this. Come on. <laughs> This is how a professional tofu press operator works. If I mess this up, I'm gonna look like a laughing stock. Now what's happening? Wait, just wait here. I can't wait, I've got muscles wasting away. Now what are you doing? Who watches this shit, man? She's heating her pan. Break this into little pieces. Break this into little pieces. Synthetic soy sludge. Put it in there. Do it faster, like, come on. The Tetris theme really gets on her nerves. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> you don't need to tell everyone, it's probably annoying to everyone. I like it. <laughs> Comment below if you would try. Again, garlic, onions, all of that shit just kills microbes. What are you trying to accomplish here? Kill off your gut bacteria? For what? What's this one? Black pepper? Black pepper? What else can you tell me? Nutritionally. Ah, oh, niche. Everything tastes better with me. Nooch. I'm gonna eat the s*** out of that. What is this, man? What are you doing? I don't get it. Oh, that smells great now. Mm. Doesn't it? Tamari! Oh, god damn. Yeah, because that dish is not anti-nutrient rich enough, we're gonna add some oxalates well, on top. Well, a lot of you people over the years have been asking for a recipe book, so guess what? This is one of the first recipes that's gonna be in our new recipe book that we're currently well underway with. So comment below if you're pumped for 30 high protein vegan meals. Yeah, absolutely pumped, man. Can't wait for that. Again, another vegan trying to sell you cookbooks in order to show you how to create vegetable dishes. Why do you need a cookbook, man? Why do you need a cookbook for those vegetable dishes? It is all just shit food. Tofu, protein powders, add spinach to it, mix everything together into a bowl of the size of a family dinner. Look at the size of that dish. Man, that screams digestive upset. Why would you do that to yourself? Everybody knows because of the low nutritional density in plant foods, you need to eat more and more and more just to get some nutrition. Of course, you're not getting adequate nutrition after all. However, you will need to eat that much to get a little bit and that will lead to digestive upset. And now you want to sell us cookbooks. Why should any healthy human being eat this way? That is absolute torture. Try this out. It's a sort of tried and true, really. So I don't know why I've got to try it out. It's just delicious as I remember. No, it's not delicious. Bit of sweet potato. Bit of kale. A few minutes. Kale is super toxic. Look into it. <laughs> it's a bit chewy, that kale, isn't it? No, it's very chewy. <laughs> yeah, of course, super chewy because it's made for sheep and it wasn't even suitable for sheep because the sheep got sick. And now you, as a good consumer, will buy that shit food. It's not for humans. <laughs> By the way, guys, this coming Sunday, 28th of July, at the Forum in Norwich is the Norwich Vegan Summer Fair. It's always a great event, loads of stalls. I'll be walking around, so come say hi. Uh, 11 a.m. till 4 p.m. See you there. Click this video now or a herd of crazed elephants will come and pull your pants down in front of everyone. You don't want that. Yeah, fantastic video. Thanks, guys. And he ends the video with a nice nipple shot, displays his steroid gynecomastia again. Fantastic. Good work. Yeah, guys, so... Unfortunately, this wasn't really entertaining to me. As I said, I created that post and you recommended those videos. This here was truly, truly saddening to me. It really comes down to my mood. Sometimes I'm in a happy, cheerful mood and hey, it is fun, right? Those vegans just look ridiculous. 
but most of the time I look at them and I just feel sad, really. I cannot help but feel sad for those fellow humans, because after all, they have bought into an ideology. It is not necessarily their fault. I'm not against vegans, I'm against veganism. And it is just saddening to see how people malnourish themselves and degenerate because of it. It leads to mental illness. It leads to an absolute vitamin A, vitamin D, cholesterol deficiency. This is why those people act like they do. It is absolutely saddening. I look at my screen, I see a middle-aged man with a gynecomastia, and he apparently is proud on that little vegan tattoo on his forearm. It's absolutely shocking, absolutely saddening. And I couldn't care less. Again, it is a free country, free world. Do whatever you want to do. But the issue is that this man promotes this shit to our children. You cannot build muscle with plants. That is just a fact. You really can't. To an extent, it will work in the beginning because you're recycling proteins and then will just simply stop. Unfortunately, Hans Herbivore deleted his videos. There was a video back in the day where he showed his steroids and then said that he will stop and then start it again. He admitted on radio shows that he is on steroids. And again, Hensch, Paul, this is not against you. Not at all. It is against veganism. I'm trying to reach out to that little humanity that is left in you. Anybody with half a brain cell would understand that this is not human food. You see it, you feel it, you taste it. You try to mask your food with all kinds of seasoning, all kinds of spices, sauces, in order to make it somewhat palatable. Like that, you are convincing yourself, you're deluding yourself into believing that this is actually something that you can eat. It is absolutely ridiculous. Again, I don't have an issue with you eating that shit diet, but it is really, really sad that you promote it to other people. There are many young boys, especially, getting into weightlifting and listening to your advice. And those kids won't make gains. If you truly would be a fan of the sport of bodybuilding, you would promote proper food. The sport of bodybuilding is over 100 years old. And we've seen, we feel tested what works for that sport, for the endeavor of building muscle. Everybody knows that meat is superior. If you look at true bodybuilding athletes or strongmen, you will see that those people are willing to do whatever it takes, right? So those people will take steroids. Those people will smash themselves in the gym. They will do everything, everything they need to do in order to achieve their goals. Do you really believe that if the vegan diet would be superior to eating meat, those people wouldn't have done that ages ago? Think about that, man. They use meat because it works for their sport. What you are doing, first and foremost, you're endangering children. You're endangering their health. But secondly, you're blocking the results of young athletes. Young athletes need proper fuel. Doesn't matter if it is bodybuilding, MMA, strongman and whatnot. Those young children need proper fuel to become the best athletes possible. And real sport nutritionists will apply the science and will give them meat, of course. You, however, try to brainwash them into believing that they can achieve the same results with plants. That is disingenuous. That is an absolute lie. My question to you is, why do you do this? Are you really, really that brainwashed that you believe that plants deliver better results than a meat-based, animal-based nutrition? Or do you do it because you truly are disingenuous and you just want to push an agenda, an agenda that pays you good money? Let me know what it is. And again, Paul, even though I'm banned from your channel, I know that you do not want to talk with me. I will offer you a talk, a Skype session, a live stream. The fans will love it. I'm not talking about a heated debate, just a regular exchange from man to man. We can talk about bodybuilding. We can talk about sport nutrition and whatnot. I would like to hear your perspective. All right, guys. And this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And as always, guys, much love and peace.